Hey everyone, Mitch here. Welcome back to this tutorial series on using Owlbear Rodeo. In this video, we're going to be looking at using the fog tools. All right, let's get right into it. Sometimes when sharing a map, you want to hide certain parts of the map from players. This is where the fog tool comes in handy. To best show off these features, I'm going to be using a pirate tavern map by Chet Peku, but everything I will be showing here works with any map. Okay, once a map has been loaded to add fog, we can simply click the fog tool here. There are a couple of options when creating fog, so let's break them down. The first option here is the polygon fog tool. This allows us to easily draw straight fog shapes that are aligned to a map, which is great for hiding rooms and buildings and things like that. To showcase this, I'm going to zoom in a little bit here, and we're going to add fog to this big, large, open tavern room here. To use this tool, we can simply click on the map to add points. And as we start clicking, fog, the fog shape will be created. You notice as I'm clicking here that if we are close to a grid line, the tool will automatically snap. And once we're happy with the shape, we can either click enter to confirm the shape, or we can simply here click the done button. Now we have a fog shape. One thing to notice is that the fog appears to be transparent. However, this is only the case when editing fog. This makes it easier for us to see the map below. But once we change tools to say the pan tool here, you can see that the shape is now solid. Now we can grab a token from the sidebar and add it to the map. And as we drag it behind, you can see the token is hidden by the fog. Just gonna delete that. Okay, so there are a few more options when creating fog. And to showcase them, I'm going to zoom up here and go towards this top bit of the map here. If we want to draw curved shapes for fog, we can use the fog brush tool, which is great for hiding caves and things like that. To use this, we can simply click and drag to create our fog shape. One handy feature for drawing fogs for things like caves and stuff like that is edge snapping, which we can enable by clicking this button here. Once this is enabled, our drawings will snap to the closest fog shape, which allows us to ensure our shapes have perfect joins between them. As an example here, I can start drawing a fog here on the right hand side here. And as we hit the fog, you'll notice that it is snapping towards that edge of the previous shape that I drew. Okay, we now have some nice fog on the map. So let's go over the options for removing fog. First, I'm going to disable edge snapping again. Our first option for revealing fog is using the toggle fog tool here. With this, we can click on any fog shape and hide it. Now, if we head back to the pan tool, you'll see that this fog shape is no longer shown. However, if we go back to the fog tool, you'll see that this fog shape does still exist, so we can toggle it back on, and we can see that it's still there if we want it to be. The next option we have is to completely remove a fog shape by using the remove fog tool. Here again, we can click the shape once more, and this will fully delete the shape. So now we can head back to the pen tool and it is gone as before, but we can no longer toggle this thing back on. Using both these tools is great for when you have pre-made your fog and, or when your map is easily split into more discrete shapes. However, if you only want to remove parts of the fog dynamically or reveal a little bit of the room when a player can only see a tiny bit of it, we have the subtract fog option. To demo this, I'm going to scroll down back a little bit more. And to subtract fog, I'm just going to hit this subtract fog option here. And now, when we draw a fog, it will be removed from any existing fog shape that's on the map. Like this. And now, if we head back to the panto, you'll see that this bit of the fog is revealed, but the rest still remains. So this is useful for, say, a player just peeked into the door here and wanted to see what they could see and you can just reveal a little bit of the fog if you like. Then, once the player moves fully into the room, you can head back to the fog tool and then toggle the entire shape off. Okay, and with that, that brings us to the end of this video. I hope it has been helpful for you. As always, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments and we'll try our best to answer them. 